Hello everyone, as part of my ongoing program of videos with the aim of no more than no less than to provide as much information and if you like education and learning as I can and as many examples as I can. Here's a, um, a web server and a website that I've provided that's fully configurable. I'll quickly go through the structure of the, uh, the template that I've provided. Um, but each page is called individually. Notice it's the page numbers changing. So there are nine pages. You could have 20 pages. If you have the more pages you add, the more commands along this line you add, that line will expand. So it's fully configurable. It expands and contracts to meet the requirement. I've disabled page nine in the source code, so page nine is not showing up. So you can tailor the commands on and off. So if you just wanted home page, um, you just disable the command, and I'll show you that in the text in a moment. There's a setup page where you can get input from uh, a client or a user. You can set the default text that appears in these fields here. You can change the field prompt here. So you could say enter maximum temperature there and you could prompt it with the maximum temperature of 100 and if you press enter that's what the value would be uh, provided to the program. You can change the, the headings, the subheadings, the copyright strings. It's ready to go you decide how to uh, configure that and you decide that in the source code you decide how to configure it in the in this section here so if you'd like if you want page one to the title of page one to be uh, for example temperature that's what you put into here so it's currently says page one for anything you like in here or here for each page. If you want to switch your page on and off, um, so page I showed you page 9 wasn't enabled, that's because its value is false. So you can vary those as you wish. Put your own text in for the site heading, subheadings. Uh, site title is the HTML title. It says it appears it would it would say web server in this tab here so if I show you that it shows web server at the top here you can put your own copyright string you can change the version number you can vary the site width I've currently got it set to 1024 pixels you could make that 1920 for a high definition width, 640, 480, 800, anything you like. In terms of, uh, so you don't need to be worrying how to change these commands or the menus. Um, anything you would need to do is put your own text into each page. And um, you can do that with online HTML editors to design a page and the only thing you do need to do is append is to make each HTML line put the HTML line inside that I'll highlight so your new HTML line would go inside that those double quotes for the web page variable and do that line by line in the next video I'll show you I'll give you lots of examples of HTML entries but for now this is the blank template web server and you can find that in the github link provided in the YouTube description below so as I said this is all about providing as much information um, and knowledge transfer as I can it's to help you I hope you find it useful. Thanks very much.